Here we are in the first lesson of this series and we're going to be displaying text and images on the screen of the M5 stack. To get us started, we're going to be doing the Hello World program, which is what everybody starts at when they are doing any kind of programming language. It's simply displaying the words Hello World on the screen of your device. And once we get started with that, then we can start to build a name card. Nowadays, we see screens of all shapes and sizes all around us. They come in many different technologies, LCD, TFT, OLED, too many to mention. But all we need to know is screens are made up of lots of tiny dots called pixels. In the horizontal direction, we call it X. In the vertical direction, we call it Y. So in order to place things on the screen, we need to know the X and Y coordinates of where we want to place it. Here we are in UIFlow, a block programming interface to get you to grips with learning programming. Let's have a look around the interface and familiarize ourselves with it. On the right hand side here we see the coding area. We have one code block here already. In the middle here we can see the code block section. This is where we'll find all the blocks we need to create our programs. Over on the left hand side is the UI manager. Here we can grab elements and add them to the screen. Below we have the units where we'll be adding different sensors for the M5 Go. And the top bar we have all of the navigation that we need. Here we can rename our project and we'll start by naming it for our first project, Hello World. You see here in the middle we have the change between Blockly and Python. For the most part of this course, we'll be focusing on Blockly to get you up and running with the basics of programming. Over here we have various icons that will help us to send the code to the device upload our code for re-editing or re-adding to our device, redo and undo, examples, documentation for the device, our forums for help if you get stuck, and updating of the new versions of the editor. Over here we'll also see the settings tab. To set our device up with the platform, we can go down to setting if we're in the offline version, we can set the COM port here. We can also set it to multiple languages, change our device if we're using another M5 stack device, and also change the theme. Let's start by adding a label to the screen. When we drag a text or other graphical element into this space, we can click on it and then alter the properties. By default, it will be given a name such as label or circle or image. We can change this if we like. Say for instance, I could call it text one. The following portion here, X and Y, shows where it will be displayed on the screen. In terms of graphics, we know that things are laid out with X and Y coordinates. So if we want to change the position of the text on the screen, then we can set this to a different area. And we notice once we change these numbers, its position changes accordingly. Let's set it to the center of the screen. We can also edit the color, but I'm going to keep it with white for now. As far as the text goes, we could preset the text to show something if we don't intend to program the text box. We can change the font. We have a few selections of different fonts that we can choose from. 
We could even rotate the text if we needed. But I'm just going to keep it the default for now. Finally, we have layers. When we get to creating more complex pictures, we might want to set things in front of or behind each other. And we'll use the layers to do this. Now for now we could just send this over to the device, but I'm going to show you how we can now program this text label that we just added on the screen. If we click into the UI tab of the code blocks menu, we see now label has appeared. Elements that we design in the UI manager will only appear here once we drag them to the screen. Inside the label menu here, I can see a whole bunch of different code blocks which I can use to control my text box. For now we're just going to be using the first one. You notice that I changed the name of my text label to text1 and there's none other in the list because I didn't add any other text boxes there. Now here I can enter hello world and now when we press play that text will appear on the screen of our device. So, we're going to make a name card for ourselves. We'll be using the UI manager to show different graphical elements and text elements on the screen. What would it make sense to add to our text label? Well, of course your name first would make sense. So we can go ahead and change this first label to show our name. What else might we put on a business card? Perhaps our phone number. Let's add another label in there. Now if we duplicate this code block, we can change the first field to show a different label. Notice that the name of the label that is there has not changed from the default. A higher number has just been added. If we wanted to change the name, we could go back into properties. But let's just change the content for now. So perhaps I would want to put my phone number in here. Okay, now let's add two more text boxes and change them. Again, we'll duplicate two more labels and change them to represent the corresponding text box that we added in the UI manager. Now I could perhaps enter my home address and perhaps even ho a hobby. Notice that in the UI manager, nothing changes. This is just simply to help us know where our text will be displayed upon the screen. When we run the program on the device, then we'll see the changes of the labels. Now this name card is looking a little boring. Perhaps we can add some graphical elements to spice it up a little. Let's start by adding some of these circles in here. I'm just going to design a simple dog's paw. As with the text label, we can also change the properties of these graphical elements by clicking on them. We could change the name, the XY position and here with the circle we change the radius so for this part of the dog's paw I want to make this circle bigger let's try 30 that looks just about right I could also change the border color which is the edge of the circle or the background but for now I'm just going to keep it at its default color 
Now, when we're loading programs on the device, we can either press the play button, and this will instantaneously send the code over to the M5 Go device. If I want to show my friends my name card or load it at a different time, I might want to download it to the device. So if we go into settings, we can find this option here, download. You'll notice that now it says uploading on the screen of our M5 Go device. It's now saving your program in the memory of the device. So that even if you switch the device off, I can choose in a menu on booting the device, a list of my programs. If we want to save the program to our desktop, we can also do that by pressing the save button in the settings menu. You can here change the name. It will always have the extension M5F and we shouldn't change that. We can also open those programs by clicking the open button. And there we have it, our name card. I'm sure you can do a much better job than I have. And I want you to challenge yourself. Add lots of text and different colored shapes. Make a cool picture. And I want to see what results you come up with. If you get stuck, you can always leave us a message, drop a comment, and I'll see you in the next video.